What is going on everyone? My name is Grid and you guys are officially on the grid. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to knock out the stagger feat in sector three of Galactic Conquest in uh, two, maybe three battles tops, uh, but two battles. And I think there might be a way to get away with one, honestly, but about two battles, we'll be able to get 60 stagger. So without further ado, you guys, let's jump right into this. All right, guys, so here we are in sector three, and we have to attempt, attempt, that is the very, 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 very important part right there. We have to attempt to inflict stagger 60 times. Now for this feat, you guys, we are gonna be using an EP, Vader, Mara Jade, Thrawn, and then a pre-taunting tank to get upwards of, I was able to get 40 staggers in one battle, um, but uh, I discovered a trick in my second attempt that I think you might be able to get 60 in one go. You might, but if not, you're at least gonna be getting about 30 uh, in one attempt, you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into the footage here. All right, so depending on your speeds and everything, if you go first, um, your best odds of going first are to get Thrawn to about, I think he needs to be around 320-ish to go first, which should be doable for a lot of people out there. Um, I'm joining this example where I did not go first is a three-star gear 11 Marjay, and she still survived that kind of beginning onslaught. So it's it's not impossible, but to avoid that whole concern, um, yeah, just have a really fast Thrawn. Now, as soon as you can, as you saw, my Thrawn went first. I actually swapped her meter with Mara Jade first. Um, and the reason being is you can immediately start um, getting some staggers out on the field. Her third special ability, or second special ability, but third ability, um, does an AOE shock and um, stagger. So we can immediately start getting that out on the field. But um, when somebody else takes a turn, for example, Vader here, I'm going into Merciless Massacre. And as soon as I get rid of um, everybody else on the field, um, then you actually, and this is what I learned in my second run, you can actually kind of put it into auto um, and just focus down on um, Nest. Now, obviously, I'm getting a ton of thoughts here and I'm getting a ton of of control of the match that is coming from ep's lead obviously whenever you're inflicting a debuff uh, you're getting turn meter but i do have the data discs where when you damage an enemy um they get a dots um so that's playing into part of why we get into this little loop here so as you're gonna see um now i have a solo nest who every time i'm hitting i'm inflicting a bunch of debuffs, which means I'm gaining so much turn meter that I'm just going to perpetually go at this point. Um, Nest will never take a turn. Um, so what I learned in my second run, which was at this point, you can actually put this on auto. Um, the, the way that the turn meter gain is working here, as you can see, Mara Jade is just going to be indefinitely going. Um, and she just, you go from special ability to special ability to basic to basic to special ability. And then every once in a while in between there, Palpatine will take a turn. Um, but so I'm going to uh, put a clip here real quick. You guys are going to see that you can actually just go full auto and it'll play for a while. So... Now, on this specific run here, you guys, I actually got, I believe it was 29 staggers, and that was me doing it manually. I went back in a second time, and that's when I got about 40. Um, so I think if you uh, put it on auto, you might be able to get 60. But anyways, you guys get the drift. And you guys, that's going to do it for today's video. So please do let me know if you have any questions down below. I'll do my absolute best to help answer them. And otherwise, until the next video or stream, my friends, we're going off the grid.